Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another tutorial. So today I'm bringing you this Pop Art Mini Mouse Halloween makeup look. Now today is my last Halloween makeup look of the year, which I'm really, really sad to say because I've enjoyed creating my Halloween makeup looks this year. I've definitely stepped out of my comfort zone, but I've also brought the ones to you that I wanted to do last year. I was running out of time last year, so I made sure I would fit them in this year. And this is one of the looks that I wanted to do last year. I paired it with like these Mini Mouse headband ears which I bought off Amazon last year but as I said I just didn't have time to record it. I haven't seen a lot of Minnie Mouse pop art looks. Now there is like tons and tons of Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse makeup looks on YouTube. I just haven't seen many of the pop art side so I thought I would create my own look for Minnie Mouse and pop art. I also done a pop art look on my channel last year for Halloween which was Wonder Woman and I really enjoyed creating that but this year I thought I would also include the white dots just to make it look a lot more um, animated and things like that and I love the way it come out so if you want to see how I got this pop art mini maze Halloween makeup look then please keep watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to give this tutorial a big thumbs up don't forget to press that notification bell just so you do get a notification on your phone when I do upload my next video but also don't forget to follow me on my Instagram page so also you know what's going on in my life and when my next video is up but yeah enough rambling let's get on with this tutorial. Okay, so dipping in to the 350 Morphe palette, I'm going to go in with my Tresden shade first, which is like this really light brown. I'm just going to buff this in to my crease and above, but also concentrating this colour on the outer portion of my lid. Then going in with this warm orange shade, I'm just going to go in between that shade with a more um, precise brush and again just point like in the crease but again concentrating it more on the outer corner and blending that out once I've applied it. And then going in with a more darker shade of orange and focusing this a lot more on the edge corner just to give my lids and the edge corner a lot more definition. And then once again, I'll just be blending all them harsh edges out. Then going in with my Maybelline Liquid Eyeliner Pen and just doing a classic wing. Then applying some black mascara from MARC just so I can apply my full lashes off camera. And then I went in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in two different shades. So the lightest shade is 15, I believe, or 10. But either way, one of the shades are 10 and one of the shades are 15. I go in with the lighter one just to highlight and the darker one just so it blends in to my foundation a lot more easier. And then I'm just going to be blending that out with a damp beauty blender. And literally, this concealer is amazing. I mean, look at the dark circles and the coverage it has. It's amazing. Then I just went off camera and set my concealer and the rest of my face in place using the Collection Sheer Loose Powder. And then I'm just going to be bronzing and contouring the rest of my face. Then going in with Dior blush, this is like really, really pink, but when you look at like Minnie Mae, she has got like nice, cute, rosy pink cheeks. So I just wanted to create that on myself. And then I'm just going to carve out my cheekbones. Then going in with the two darkest shades of orangey, orange on my lower lash. Then going in with the Soap Palette from Makeup Revolution and just highlighting my face. I didn't really want a blinding highlight today. I just wanted it very, very subtle. So that's the reason why I didn't pack on a lot of highlighter. I'm just going to be highlighting my brow bone as well. Then setting my brows in place using the Maybelline Brow Drama and just using the brush from the Benefit Cosmetics um, Brow Setter as well. Just because I don't like the brush from the Maybelline one. So yeah. Then going in with some red lipstick from Makeup Revolution. I can't remember the shade but as always my shades will be linked in the description bar down below so make sure you go and check them out. Now to start on the fun bit I then took the Maybelline liquid liner pen again and just started creating like lines on my face which would represent like a cartoon like shadows and things like that. If you just get like a cartoon up and type in pop art you'll have some kind of image 
to work with and you'll literally know where to put the lines and then I thought I wanted to create some little lashes on the bottom of my lower lash just to add a lot more definition and just to help my eyes look a lot more animated and then I just started outlining my lips sorry guys my mirror is in the way which it always is when I'm doing my lips but literally this is all I'm doing it just made the lips come to life Then to make it look a lot more animated, I went in with the Snazaroo White Water Activated Face Paint and just got like a cotton bud and just started dotting these on my face. This is like the only way I could get like the circles really nice and precise. I just went in like three, well, amount of lines that I wanted to go in and making it one dot shorter on each line just so it went up nice and level. And yeah, I just think this like pulled the look together I just absolutely love the way it looked with these little white dots I think it made it look like a lot more animated and gave it a lot more detail I then went in with the face paint on a small detail brush and just started creating like shadows and reflections as you do when you watch a cartoon you can see like the white shading on there so I just wanted to create that on my face as well And then once I done all that, I just popped on my Minnie Mouse ears. Okay guys, so this is the end result. I'm really happy the way Minnie Mouse turned out. I love like these little white dots. Obviously you can just leave it with the black lines, but I just think adding the white dots make it look a lot more animated and just gives it more of a effect. As I said, I got these ears from Amazon. They do tons of different ones. I just think it's really, really quick and easy. Perfect for a last minute Halloween tutorial if you haven't got time or you don't know what to be. And I just think it's perfect for adults and children. It's very versatile, so yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this tutorial a big thumbs up. And don't forget to follow me on my Instagram page. But yeah, I hope you all have a fantastic Halloween. Please be careful and please be safe. Also have a lot of fun. But yeah, I'll see you in my next tutorial, guys. Bye.